Hey, it's Alora from Firebird Summit. Today is the day before Thanksgiving, and in um, honor of the spirit of the holiday, I was thinking about some of the things that I am particularly grateful for. And one of the things that came to mind is actually uh, something that Gallup talks about a lot in using the Clifton Strengths for teams. And that is learning to recognize what your teammates and your colleagues have in terms of, of their strengths that uh, help complement yours and vice versa. And really appreciating each other's differences. You know, a lot of people find the holidays very stressful. There's a lot of expectations and a lot of difficult you know, relationship stuff that, that always manages to come to the surface. Um, and particularly given our fraught political times, it's not uncommon for many people to have a lot of anxiety around the holidays. So uh, there's, there's not always a huge amount that you can do to change somebody else. But what I have found enormously helpful is trying to find the things that I am able to appreciate about their differences. Um, some of the family members that I struggle the most to get along with, I've been really actively taking this approach for the past couple of years. And one in particular has gotten a lot better. Um, and, and it was kind of the one I never imagined would, would ever become a good relationship. And it actually finally really is. And I, I definitely recognize that it has more to do with my change and how I approached her and my willingness to recognize that we didn't actually have to have anything in common, but um, as long as I could appreciate some of the differences, even though others do create some struggle for me, um, it did make it a lot easier for us to start discovering common ground and ways to build a relationship that we had never previously had. So now um, on the work front, this has come up for me a couple of times and in my ongoing quest to really drive the question, what do you need from work? Um, one of the things that, uh, that always comes up for me in the, last, uh, in the last few months especially is how much I realize I count on working with people who are very different than me. Um, and I have two, two clear examples of that that I am gonna end on. So um, one of my partners, Terry, is, is almost as opposite from me as you could get um, in a number of ways. And he, uh, he and I were working on something together and I had kind of a crazy revelation and, and I pinged him and said, hey, can you talk? And we get on a call and, and I'm explaining to him a surprise that came up with a, with, um, a client and talking through you know what to do next because it was it was an unexpected turn of events and he stopped and said okay so what i do is i take a blank piece of paper and i just start writing and brainstorming and just just writing down no judgment no anything just start writing all the ideas that i have and i started laughing and i said yep that is the classic difference between you and i you as a perfectly poster child example of an introvert sit down and write quietly and by yourself. As a classic extrovert, the first thing I do is, hey, Terry, can you talk? I have to talk through this. So he started laughing and, and we came back to once again, realizing that it's our differences that we enjoy together. Um, another partner and I had an example yesterday where we were on a call with a client. Client said, well, I've, I've wrapped up my last trip for the year and I'm, I'm now home until through the holidays. And um, my first reaction was, oh great, how was the trip? And my partner's reaction was, oh, that's so fantastic, you're home. Which of course, uh, Anne noticed and, and kind of called out as a classic example of the differences between the two of us. But what I like about both of these stories is that, you know, we can't do everything by ourselves. And one of the most important things for me in my work is finding the right partners to work with on projects. And they could be big projects, they could be small projects. But for me, the sense of isolation of working completely by myself doesn't work for me. And it's been the, the single biggest cause of me going back to being employed by someone else in the previous two times that I have been self-employed. So for me, in my Thanksgiving gratitude, I am very grateful for partners and collaborators who have such radically different temperaments and strengths and areas of 
of capability that vastly, vastly exceed what I could do in those areas and the way that we have learned to work together and appreciate those things. And over time, I've also become increasingly more appreciative about my own ability to recognize that when it comes to family members, particularly ones with whom I've had a difficult relationship in the past. So I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving. I hope no one drives you too crazy. And I hope that whatever happens, you get plenty of really great food and lots of time with people that you love. Have a happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>